Hi, I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. We got a really good video for you here today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to generate a TP program, a FANUC robot program automatically, and we're going to do that through target points. Now those target points, it, it, this is actually super, super powerful and it's a huge, huge time saver in the ability to write a program very quickly, edit a program, and just do it very efficiently. So let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. All right, so we have FANUC Robo Guide opened up here, and we have our, our TCP, our tool, already uh, attached to our robot. And from here, we are basically gonna teach some points on this box, and we're gonna teach them with these things called targets, okay? Uh, this is just a, a way to teach points uh, inside of here. So if you want, you can import point data if you have something from a past project or a fixture that you've worked with before. Uh, so we selected the target button up there at the top, and it gives you these options. So if you click air right here, you can create this uh, target in air. So we're going to basically create a, a target where the TCP is currently at. And now we're going to click surface. Now this gives us the ability to de detect a surface and plot points. So we're going to just plot kind of some strategic points around this box just to, uh, to have some points to show you how to uh, do this programming. So we're just going to teach a point here. And here, oh, didn't really go where we wanted it to. Boom, there we go. Okay, there we go. And then we'll delete that point here in a second. So that point over there uh, ended up being point 0.9. So we're just gonna right click on it and delete. Remember your light right click function, it has a ton of functionality in these uh, controller organizers. All right, so T1, that's the one that's floating in space. T11, uh, you can see that one right there as well. So we're going to right click, add target group, and then so right here you can change the name. Now we could have went in and edited it and did it that way, but you can do it as soon as you create the program. Uh, so target group name, we're going to just name it first GP, first group, and then TP program name. This is actually going to be the name of the TP program, the FANUC robot program. So name this whatever uh, your desired uh, name would be. And you can also do your U-Tool and your frames as well. And then you can apply it, okay it. All right, so we're going to edit target group right here. So as this opens, this edit target group, notice there's no points here. So what we have to do is we have to add points. And in order to add points, you have to click on this button down here called Members. And this dialog box will pop up right here. And you can see it kind of shows a little bit of the controller organizer. Choose Targets. And then from here, you can choose what uh, positions you want to uh, utilize. And so you, one thing that you can do that's really cool and really powerful is you can just select the points that you want, so T1, T11, and then you can also hold your shift key and highlight multiple of them at a time and add them to your uh, group. So like click T3, shift, then T11, and then hit this button here and it will automatically add all the groups over. We'll add T2 because that's at the end of our program. So it automatically does T1, T2, T3 in the order that you create the targets out there. So here we have all of our positions added. And this is where things kind of get really, really powerful. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here to motion line data. And notice everything is grayed out. And the reason for that is because we don't have an actual position selected. So now we just selected a position. Uh, this position is going to be an approach position. So right here you'll select approach. And then you can change the speed, you can change whether it's a linear, it's continuous, and this is where things become really powerful. And part of the reason why this is so powerful is because you can actually choose the multiple points up here. So instead of just editing one point at a time, you can edit multiple. And then as you can see right here, you can do your, change your configuration. If you know what your configuration is, then feel free to change that. So we're going to go ahead and show you it's the same function as before. You just click the, the first one that you want to use, the first point, shift key, and then select the other one that you want to use. So boom, it just auto highlights all, all of them. I believe if you use the control key, you can choose independent ones. So if you want to choose like every other one, you can. 
So this is going to modify the, the move type and the speed all, all at one time. So instead of having to go through and edit each position, all of them just get edited one time. And let's see, here we go. Do, 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 do. And we need to make this a retreat position as well. Change these real quick. Fine. You see 50 and retreat so and see where it says right here it says retreat yes approach yes uh, that just tells you like it basically gives the robot software the robo guide uh, it lets it know what you're trying to do with those particular points so as you can see here's the name of our program test program here's the name of our group and also here you can change what frame you want a particular point to use and if you go through and you change the different frame that you want different points to use uh, then it will automatically add those into your program as well so generate feature TP program so you have to make sure you click this button here in order for it to load it to TP so loading test into the controller so boom so remember, this is a virtual controller from past videos. This controller does not know the difference between being real or fake. As you notice, this test uh, TP program just popped up over here in programs on the controllers over there. It kind of showed us our path. And now we're going to open up our teach pendant. And after the teach pendant opens up, you're going to hit the select. Right there, your uh, test is right there. That's the program that it auto-generated, and you can see, here it is, it auto-generated all this code right here, uh, which is not a super big deal, but it's a huge, huge time saver if you have to, you know, if you want to modify different speeds and, and um, movement types, all that good stuff. So we're going to hit shift reset, da, 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 decrease our speed to like 50%, there you go. One thing about RoboGuide, if you move too fast, sometimes it'll move faster than you can actually see. It'll perform the... Oh, we can't. Okay, so we can't get to this position, and the reason why is we used an ACC 150, uh, and I believe the maximum is a 100. So yes, let's reset the fault. So we need to change this to a. Oh, we got to click right into the 150 if you want to modify that number there. So there you go, and this will be a little bit di different depending on the model of robot that you have, the age of the robot, the version of software that's in the robot. Uh, so as you can see right here, it says a maximum value of 100. So we're going to go through here and just change all these real quick to a 100 to reach that maximum value. Okay. There we go. Reset. Forward. And here you go. The robot now has motion and the robot is moving through the path of that program we just taught. So we just literally taught points out in space and it moved through its path. And that's pretty much it guys. It's that easy. Uh, we can get into some like more advanced features and things that you can do with this type of programming. But that's kind of just the, the basic structure of how to create a, a TP program with a uh, robo guide and how to do it in a super quick manner. If you have like a, a, an imported 3D model of something, it, it's like super perfect if you have like your, TP, your uh, TCP already taught on your robot tooling and then you have your uh, fixture that's a, a 3D model fixture that you've had designed, then you can teach your TP to the, your TCP to the different points that you want to uh, actually touch down on with your robots. If you're doing a welding application and you have a particular point where you need to touch down and do a weld or uh, maybe it's a fixture that you have to maybe put screws in or whatever the application may be, uh, you can select those particular points uh, and, and it'll do like a CAD software and, and you'll be able to pick like if you want to do a surface or an edge or, or one of the other tools that it offers you. So like I said, it's just super, super powerful, um, can really save a ton of time and it, on your install, like the accuracy, if, you're, if your install accuracy is super good with this, then you really only have to touch up your points a little bit and you should be ready to run your program. So guys, hopefully this video is useful. If you have any other content that you'd like to see or any particular topic, please let me know. Uh, put it down in the comments below or you can reach out to us through our website, LinkedIn, or all the other platforms that we're located at. Catch you all in the next one.